Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night to everyone who is here with me. Oh, just a moment. When, when turn off your phone. When you turn off the phone. No way, and I'm still hearing you. <laughs> no, turn off the phone. Wayne, turn off the phone. End the call on WhatsApp. Good evening to everyone here with me tonight. Good evening, those far. My grandmother has always reminded me, Jamaica. Don't know about you, but I've equally been reminded time and time and time again. Nobody stones are green. Mm -hmm. Nobody stones a green tree. You hear what I said? Nobody stones a green tree. Nobody. Stones a green tree. And it coming like the only time some of them have relevance. The only time they seek relevance is when them pitch on Andre. The only time they can talk is when Andre speaks. And I think that is unfair. I'm taking no calls now. Nobody calls me at this time. Nobody calls me at this time. And I think it is very unfair that every time I'm going to play this recording. I'm going to play this recording. And tell me if this is fair to somebody who is trying for more Jamaicans. Good night to everyone. Good night, good night, good night. I want every Canadian who is here tonight. I'm going to go to Canada tonight. I love Canada. I love Canada. I wish to be there one day. But all the Canadians who are here tonight come out because tonight is your night to speak. Tonight is the night for the Canadians to speak. And I want to listen. I want you. Devotion is going to keep. But we have to go cut and clear the negative energy then first. So I want to bring something to the attention of my students. And before I came on this line, a blogger called me. Very ve vehemently adamant disrespectful um, spring accusations against me, my students, that Andre Stevens is in this for money. Mind you, I don't own a car. I don't own my own house. Mind you, I don't have all of my financial stability. I don't have financial stability, but Andre Stevens is doing this for money. 
And the man depend on the phone and I'm saying, if it is my intellectual property, if I produce my issues day in and day out, if I find issues affecting the country and the world, and I speak about them in truth and in fact, I deserve my partner draw from my mouth. If I speak something from my mouth, I don't want them to use it. If, I, if you are to use it, if you are to use it, if you are to use it, get permission from me. But you guys don't want to get permission. Only want to run wild loosely. Everywhere on YouTube. Using my content. Day in, day out. We send out warnings. We send um, messages. Only not observe them. And when this channel is strike, only say Andre bad man. Andre wicked. Andre is in this for money. So now I saw a video. Several of my social media warriors. Sent me this and said, Professor, look at this this morning. And I said, what is this? It's very toxic. Very toxic. But I said, let me play it. I'm not playing it. I'm not even not showing face. When I make the video, I have a batty boy there. When they batty boy there, they say, God, I talk to him. God, I talk to people with them their style. The boy there, batty boy, I'm sure. Every minute I call up Andrew Wallness name, I call up Miss Miss Wallness name. The batty boy, look at the big respect of the boy, the boy, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you talk to them batty boy there. The boy, the fuck batty. The boy, the mix the Saddam. I gave that. In a real, real life, that are gay. Mm -hmm. So all them a come on TV and, and blood clot, YouTube and social media talk about God talk to them. He, like on the tech people for fool. And the whole one come, the whole one come like as one man say, God talk to them. We no talk, talk, talk to them. God tell me if you tell us say Andrea Batty boy, and he's so pussy. And if you stop calling Andrew Wallace name, because Andrew Wallace name say nobody go kill nobody. And me. Name Errol Donaldson. Okay? I'm me. I'm a family, Miss Donnelly Donaldson. I'm in a one no of innocent people, me and my Carl Panny. I'm in a one to know a clown or a dry way. Like I don't think they are clown this. You understand? Andre stop blood clatter before a man send something across your blood clatter and fire bomb your bumbo wall. You understand? Left name right bumbo clad name. Andrew Wallace never said nobody go kill nobody. And my family dead. Who no ease up over Andrew Wellness and his wife. I'm going to suck on no mama. You understand what I say? This batty boy when he Andrew when he Andre. This batty boy, I'm sure I'm a batty boy. I'm telling about Andre. Andre, Obia man. Acting Obia man. Pretending Obia man. You understand? Andre. So pussy, so catty and fuck body. Andre mix up in a all Saddam and Saddam life. He ear style look like a them little pretty girl. Them little feminist girl. And come and tell the world and Jamaican people, fucking idiot them. But God I talk to him. God not talk to nobody where he looks so. God representative is properly properly groom and put together properly them freaky ear style boy they got now every board god dream team tell him say miss 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 andrew miss miss holiness miss holiness this and miss holiness hey body boy pmp boy go suck your mama and ease up off andrew holiness name you hear me i tell you say I feel me i look no god not put it to do not not drop you on the worship body boy you understand? Andrew Wallace's wife, a big respectable woman in a society. Have some respect and manners before man send something down in your bumbo world throat, like down in your, down in your bumbo world throat. Warn me, I warn you. You hear me, I tell us, eh? You hear me, I tell us, I mean, I have nothing to hide, I'm afraid of nobody. Me, I back Andrew Wallace and his wife to the death. You understand? Andrew Wellness now have nothing to no, 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 no,
You understand? The bumbo club man we're not having a jail. We say we kill Donnelly. And him who we go for, we block him out of jail. And we could take out his fingernail and his toenail them one one. Until he talk one bumbo club do this. This party boy come on, on social media, he come on YouTube, and he mix up a whole heap of people in my family killing. And clown out my thing. And the politics the party boy I use. Eh? The politics the PMP party boy, and see so the boy always dress up in a red. I don't know against people, I don't PMP friend them. You understand? But the boy I go too far now. But I'm still going to listen to the man, the man I call Andrew Wellness wife. The boy don't have a respect, the boy don't have a wife. The boy don't have a woman. Batty them boy the fuck, batty man them. Batty boy them death. And you have me shot if I'm down a batty boy. God not talk to nobody with them pretty hair style there. You understand? Woman. I come and talk about God talk to them. God representative is properly groomed and put together and anointed. God people them properly trim and groom. No man, no no man with no blood clot, Galilee. The boy the when you Andre. Andre, me I tell us, say, come up. Your mother. I found it to you. Was your destiny? It was never about oh, destiny. Destiny. You blood clot to pretend people destiny. Eh? Eh? Hmm? Yeah, and the other day, me see you go to our social media. Social media, go to the road, a, a blood clot, speak to ball, ball, Donnelly, 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 Donnelly. I see you all look for blood clot, I like yourself in a body boy. Call the things that Donnelly murder a blood clot commercial. Eh? When you think it's a bumbo club, a batty boy, a police boy, we kill Donnelly, but when you think it's a commercial, all things the people get likes and get sheer and get fame and build blood club, big media offer. Eh? When you think it's a killing Miss Donnelly's not blood club game. A part of my girls. When you think it's a killing no man a blood club game. It now is enough that boy, that batty man, see him there on the blood club YouTube there. Like some look, and some people fool your blood clot. And some people are calling about Jesus that and God that and Jesus that. Let me tell you something. God live inside you. You understand? God no talk to nobody with them the kind of year style there. The boy they suck cocky fuck body. Everything that start them that the boy they do. That the boy they not have no woman. That the boy didn't know woman, so all the respectable and decent people they wanna get tricked by him. Uno go ten to uno life and leave the boy there obia man acting with the money obia and blood clot work neither. I'm tell me I tell him and and and, and may I tell you this again in a body boy Andre. Let me, me tell you something. Come out of the Donaldson family business and top bumbo clock look social media fame of it, you know, body boy. You hear me say, cause I fame you are looking up. God not talk to nobody look like you. You understand? But mm -hmm. God tell us and Miss Andrew Wellness wife this. Have some respect for the lady. Have some respect for the woman. The woman have bumbo clock back to school for dealing with Panera right now. And the people them are look up to her, and the people them love her. And all you are do a tear down by use I use Donnelly name for tear down people. Eh? Don't use my family name for tear down nobody. This is Donaldson. This is not on blood clad Milan Campbell, some popular name. You understand? Enough is enough. So Come on from me bumbo class family name, man. You use my family name, the blood class, you fame. Yeah. And you're gone. And you will necessarily say nobody got killed Donnelly. You miss Donnelly? Donnelly related to you? So why you they make so much money out of Donnelly name? And get so much likes? Listen to me, man. Enough is enough. Make, hey, make sure name, make her name rest in peace. You hear me, I say? Make the Donaldson family bear them pain in peace.
You understand? Can I tell you something? You don't know nothing about this abomba cloth, you know. Donaldson, the cross the whole world, I feel the pain in my yard. And you, you, I make the abomba cloth situation worse. Can you gonna talk about Miss Holiness? God tell you about Miss Holiness and Donnelly case. Eh? Eh? What are you want this wife of do with Donnelly case? What are you want this do with Donnelly case? I don't mean to hear your call from Dr. Chang and say, Dr. Chang, we have to do something about it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't mean a Prime Minister Andrew Wilness name call your PMP. Call your Batman PMP boy. For all that your commission. Let me tell you, you know, no, no, God, no, no, you, you fuck Batty and suck pussy. If you fuck all of the plans. Of you can't even, you can't even bumble cloud. Talk a proper sentence. You, you, you can't even pronounce your word them properly. You understand? You, you, you not got no qualities. Nothing you need about you. Come off from the TV and suck your mama. Dear sir. Mm -hmm. No problem. Thanks for the message. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the message, sir. Thank you for the message. I've heard your message, sir. I don't know where you are, but I'm going to tell you something. Mm -hmm. When they go low, and students are not taking any calls. I'm prepared for it. When they go low, we go high. When they go low, we go high. I know my students are angry, but we're not going to be angry. We're going to brush it off. We're going to be like the swan. We're going to brush it off. We're not going to give them any credence. You know, my students, he was spared. He was spared. He was spared by a blogger to do it. He was actually paid by a blogger to do it. He was spared by a blogger to do it. Mr. Fletcher, you know yourself, the blogger who did it. I'm going to say this to you. I'm not a blogger. I'm a social justice advocate. I just use YouTube as a platform to get my message across continents. I just use YouTube to get my issues across continents. A lot of you have to use platforms. A lot of you have to use false thumbnails. A lot of you have to use misleading information to get views. You guys not going to separate me from Sophia Log. You guys not going to derail me and distract me from where I need to go. I have a mission. I know what my mission is. Enlighten Jamaica, the Caribbean, and by extension, the world. I have a mission wherein which young ladies need to be enlightened. I have a mission in which farm workers are in Canada who are in coal. Seven days, they have not gotten any leaves. Months, no day off, those persons' truth rights need to be exposed. That's my mission. And my mission is not to be in any quarrel. Because they, they expected me to be in a quarrel and bang around. But I'm charged up. High frequency. High frequency. High frequency. When they go low, we go high. So I'm not going to be caught up in the naysayers and the distraction. 
Tonight, we're going to look at some issues that are most potent to Jamaica, the region, and the Western Hemisphere. Tonight, I'm going to ask the Canadians to call in after I've done my lecture. But before I do so, I'm asking one of my most potent, powerful prayer warriors. Because that's a warlock, you know. If you see the gentleman, you will see that he's a sorcerer or a warlock. So we're going to send out Michael. The only angel we're sending out is Michael. And when I fight in the spirit, I fight in the spirit. High frequency. High frequency. High frequency. So me now go get in on a baga baga and no discussion. Phone go run up and down for say Andre call on the name Andre this, Andre do that's phone respond. They get likes. You guys not going to get it with me. I do not argue or entertain commoners. We're not in the same league. So I'll wait on one of my most powerful prayer warriors to call in. Let me pray. Mm. The song that I, 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 I listen to tonight is After You Done All You Can, Just Stand. After you have done all you can, just stand. After the persecutions, after the name callings, after all that has been presented, just stand. Any of my powerful prayer warriors are going to call in. I know people are angry. I know people are hurting. But, but, you hear what I said to you? But, 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 you hear what I said to you? None of my prayer warriors calling in, all right? Let me just clear the air. Father God, as we come here tonight to have a discussion, seal the doors, mighty God. Seal the doors so we can be open and ready. The people of Jamaica are suffering, mighty God, and they need answers. A lot of them are in the diaspora, and they need answers, Holy Spirit. So I'm asking you to give us direction, else the people will perish. Give us the directions that are needed and the solutions that are needed in this time. Give us directions that we can remove the toxicity out of all these spaces and get wisdom from above. Give us direction, mighty God. Give us direction, mighty God. Hi, Colleen. Hi. Oh, 
mountains to your feet have walked through. There is too many treasures await over yonder. There is too much to gain, to lose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Father God, we come before you tonight, Lord God. All tattered and torn with mixed feelings, God. But we come because you're a God of redemption. You're a God of salvation. You're a God of a truth and right and justice, Lord God. You're a God that can never fail. Father God, we put you, Lord God, in the midst of this program. We put you, Lord God, in the midst of Andre's life tonight. We put you, Lord God, in the midst of the viewers, mighty God. Father God, you know that there are warlocks and there are witches, Lord God, out mm. here. Father God, we pray coverage. We pray coverage, blood coverage over Andre's life, Father. Father God, we pray that any mouth that speaks evil against him, Lord God, Father. Father God, you are God of rights, truths, and justice, Father God. Everybody, Lord God, knows, Lord God, what is wrong and what is right. But people choose to do what they want to. Mm. Father God, you are Father. You sit high and you look low. We trust you. We have no doubt in you, Lord God, that you are going to work this out. Father God, do not let the spirit of deterrent come upon him. Yes, do Lord. not let the spirit of downfall come upon him. Do not let the spirit of battle come upon him. Lord God, strengthen him, Lord God. Mighty God, this is one of your soldiers, Father God. You prepared him for a time like this. Father God, you are the one are worthy to be praised, to be lifted up, and to be magnified. Father God, you sit on your throne, Lord Jesus. But we ask you to send guardian angels, Lord God, in and around his house, Lord God, even his neighbor's house, near and far. We ask, Lord God, that you cover him under your blood, Lord God. Not the blood mm. of Jesus, blood. Not the blood, Lord God, but the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The blood that can heal. The blood that conquer. The blood that save. The blood that protects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Remember, cross. Eat on the water. The blood pay on the water. Jesus, mm. the blood that can protect each of one of us tonight, Jesus. Father God, you said we shall fear no evil, though we walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Father God, this place that we're living in, even Canada, America, Jamaica, is a place of death. But Lord Jesus, we speak life into every situation. We speak life into this program. Yes. We speak life unto Andre in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, Send God in angels, Jesus. Mm. Send them to the angels, Jesus. Send them, send them, send Hallelujah. them, Jesus. And we ask that you cast the blood, the blood upon the lintel of his throne, Lord Jesus. And we ask that you cast fire. Holy Ghost fire. fire. Holy Ghost fire, Jesus. Holy Ghost fire. Yes. She, hallelujah, Jesus. Fire. Holy Ghost fire. Father God, tonight this program, Lord Jesus, we're putting it in your hands. We put Andre in your hands. Eh? Yes, Lord. Jesus, you are Lord, I worthy to be praised, to be lifted up, and to be magnified. And we are fearing no evil tonight. Get mm. out of the show, Andre. The, the blood Lord. of Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. <laughs> Can't keep a good man down. Hey, solid as a rock. They just can't stop me now. Even when you set up roadblocks, you just can't stop me now. Hey, I'm so solid as a rock. They just can't stop me now. Me say, even though they set up roadblocks, they just can't stop me now. Greetings, 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 greetings from Jamaica. Greetings from my home to your home. Greetings across the globe to Africa, to Europe, to Asia, to the United Kingdom, to the United States, to the Caribbean, to South America, but equally and most importantly, to the people of Canada. Canada, how are you? There is a story that is developing out of Canada that 
it puts me in a place that at on it, it it has made me uncomfortable and as such i decide that i'm going to address the matter tonight who wants to hear the matter if you want to hear the matter say teacher teach if you want to hear the matter say teacher teach teach teacher teach teach teacher teach class time now no calls now no calls now and i'm receiving all of the hugs receiving all of the hugs hello good evening I never call your name, Mr. Dwayne Fletcher. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, but Mr. Fletcher, I don't know you. I never called your name, so I don't know about that. All right? Have a good one and be blessed. Mm -hmm. I hung up. I'm not taking any more calls. It started already. It started already. I don't know them. I don't know them. I don't know them. Mm -mm. We're not hang up the phone and not taking any more calls. But the number was calling. Anyway, students, teach, teacher, teach. Teach, teacher, teach, right? No, my students. No, my students, no, my students, no, my students. Very so often I get a call. Andre, you know, have a link to get a farm work ticket. Very so often politicians hear people come knock at them constituency office. MP, minister, me can't get a farm work ticket for go to Canada. Let me tell you. Ever so often, politicians, all people wanna have me, all me. Remember me, a public servant. I get called almost every day. Ask Jamaicans asking, teacher, you know, on a link a Ministry of Labor for put me name for farm work for go a farm work. I lie me, I tell. If I lie me, I tell me, tell me for shut up. If I lie me, they tell, tell me for shut up. If I lie me, they tell, tell me if you shut up. Everybody, once they vote, they want a farm work ticket for go to Canada. Tell me if I lie me, I tell. Only like up the live, you know, like up the live, because tonight we are carried international. Like up the live. Only know much I to call me, say, when I vote for the MP. Uno can get farm work and only name can get farm farm work. Tell me if I lie, me I tell you no. Tell me if I lie, me they tell. Everybody want go Canada for farm work. Tell me you no. Know. Tell me we ra grandma everyone out no. Tell me if I lie, me I tell. Once a man win a constituency or a councillor win, what the first thing the people are asking for them war farm work ticket to go to Canada? But it's not an easy road. It's not an easy road. Have you heard the conditions? 
Have you heard the stories? Have you heard the calls? Have you heard the cries of the workers who have gone on the farm work project? Have you heard of the modern day slavery? They have written, the farm workers who are Jamaicans have written an open letter, open letter stating the crisis that they're in. I'm going to like up the life because we're going to go there tonight. Wayne, can you show the video? The one with the, the female talking first. That's my introductory video for tonight. Or should I? So I just want you to make this sink in for a minute. The Jamaican workers, migrant workers, write an open letter to their government, letting them know some of the abuses that they're facing. And they even compare it to systemic slavery. And now the government of Jamaica sends their representative, their labor rep representative, I think it's Carl Samuda, over. And you're thinking, especially as a Jamaican, like, Yes, he's gonna come over and defend us, defend our honor, right? Because that's what the government is for. You're supposed to protect your citizens. And you decide, Carl decides to come over and denounce what they said was happening to them. So I guess my question is, is government for the people or our government for interests? You know, we often talk about if we don't have government, it would be anarchy. But what are the effects of having a government that does not work for the people? Because we are seeing this time and time again in so many different countries where the government officials is not really representing the people. Folks are so upset that slavery ended. And these slaveholders, they like to keep enablers in place to make sure that everything is running smoothly. And that's what's happening in this case. The enabler is making sure that things are running smoothly. Shame, shame, shame. No. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God, mighty God, mighty God. Mighty God. Carl Samuda. Minister Carl Samuda, you last week, told Jamaica that you have got you you have said the the, 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 the 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 allegations made by the Jamaican farm workers are not true. Carl Samuda, you have said the allegations made by the farm workers from Jamaica are not true. That's what you're saying. But we are now hearing a different situation coming out of Canada. Where does the farm workers reside in Canada? I really don't know Canada. But I'm sure it's up in the cold areas that the farm workers are. And if we never have the advent of social media, if we never had TikTok, Instagram 
and Facebook, we would not know that these are the conditions that the workers are living in. We would not know that workers are going to work seven days without a day off. We would not know workers are working under these egregious pressures. Farm workers, I want you to talk to me tonight. But Carl Samuda, I'm not going to beat you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to say. I'm not, here's what Jamaica, Carl Samuda is tired. Carl Samuda is tired. Carl Samuda needs to retire. Carl Samuda's ears are not on the ground. He's not young and fit to know the conditions and the realities. Hello. Me at 30 years old and from me a picnic. Me a hear about Carl Samuda. Tell me if I lie now. And no found no about Carl Samuda years ago. So from if Carl Samuda and me at 30. And from me a grew up, me a hear about Carl Samuda. And when me a grew up, me see Carl Samuda as a white ear man. That means a Carl Samuda probably near 90. And you got to tell me, say, I'm 90 year old. Probably I have signs of dementia. Probably I have hearing problems. Probably can't even see I walk properly. They, in a parliament, I tell Jamaica, so that where the, where the farm workers are talk about, there's no truth to it. And we see the stretcher we come in for the farm worker. Tell me if I lie me a tell. Uno see the stretcher we come in for the farm worker. And Uno say everything all right for them. Then me see the opposition I go say all of a sudden. Carl Samuda needs to go. So I'm going to ask you this. The government or the opposition not do consensus with the farm workers. Only not do data gathering to see the conditions. Only not do data gathering to see the conditions of the farm workers under. So if they never come from TikTok, if they never come from Instagram and Facebook, <laughs> we wouldn't know. So this the man them I go through over there. Them in a feeling a cool. I pick up and pick this, pick that. No, let me take off that jacket. Me now going to be Mr. Nicey Nicey tonight. Me I go speak up the things there. When I can't hear the videos on my phone. Me have play that video here, when from my from my phone. Cause me can't hear them well. Yeah, see the stretcher. That's how serious it is. See the stretcher come film. Yeah. Stretcher. Mm -hmm. Hmm? The same man. But then scare come a bunk house come through down. The supervisor and all of them. Care the man come through down and see there. Eh? A stretcher have to come for the man. I mean, I have to find the sign. And I'm a top of climb ladder. Yeah. Can't work under my condition, brother. Brother, wicked, then wicked, Mr. See the stretcher. That's how serious it is. See the stretcher come for him. Stretcher. Mm -hmm. The same man. But then scare come a bunk house come through down. The supervisor and the whole of them. Care the man come through down and see there. A stretcher have to come for the man. I mean, after one kill the sign. And them attack both climb ladder. Can't work under them a condition, brother. Brother, wicked then wicked, Mr. I come back up there, smile and I lean him like everything. All right, I didn't care the man go to the hospital. Wicked man, I know that. 
Watch you go up tomorrow. Watch go up. That's if I say all out in Jamaica and come up here and wicked so. Why this need to be documented, man? We tell them say Bill Sanders are there, GP Sanders, man. That long time we know that man. No money, shake up this man. Come up here, laugh like mm, everything right now. The field, mm, and then leave my hospital time. and a good mm, cheer. Mm. And we have protest for that. I shake up this time. I'm going to talk about work. Anyone else can't get up for Me imagine at that time, my bex, man, my pretend like say all is well. I climb tree, see me a picture, you will see me like an yo. We are black, he bong. Oi, please. As the boss come, me a drop, me a let none hear them. I think you don't come in, nobody help me. I'm black, you're wrong, yes, sir. No man, he no man out. Joking with the pong, I won't go work, walk, go this side, go do it for them, one man. But I said, I'm a pong, a good way. 15 minutes, then we'll kill a rabble who need them. Yeah, you said the man, they tell the man, they say, them pay with each kind of touch, you know, you hear that too? Who said that? Yeah, yeah. 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 The people then come up here, come do the inspection, mm -hmm. and then collect one set of man to go to do it. And then mm -hmm. the, old, the old man them tell the, the people them say we get paid for it. Enter the bus a man in time. Mm -hmm. We are getting. Oh, what is that one? Let yeah. yeah. me not go so. Who no, we'll get paid? No, no, no. Go so, but that's the record say, clean. Yeah. Yeah, I treat for the No, it's a thing to be good. I get you good. I get you good. I get you good. I Listen, listen. I see no man with you now. Bobo, do you have a hand? 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 Wow! Oh, so I get you my good, I can't get you. Hold on, we have food from your fight. I see no man with you now. Get an XK here. Get an XK here. Man. Get an XK here. Get an XK here. Get an XK here. Get an XK here. Get an no good treatment when I get here, sir. No, then I respect you, sir. Brother, the people ain't come for do it, and the original man, they fix the thing, brother. Nothing out of here. I don't want to keep it back. You want something? No. <laughs> Yeah. 
Anyone I would do this, brother. Anyone I would. Because I know you, you have to be a whole of comfort to make a whole of comfort to get a whole of good on back. I'll be a black say, all is well made. All is well made. Why do you have no bonus of guys as long as people do this? I mean, you need to come and build sandals. No, come down the top. I call police for him. I'm going to treat the work of them properly. But if I don't have a little bit of a book, I'll bring them back and put them in the bunk house. And then I'll book people plenty of kids to pick them home. And that's what I'm going to do. So, only need to call police and build and that. That's not married, the world. We are black your road, so they matter seriously. We are black that and his boss come me and leak out here, they may ask Christ that. No, nobody feel me. When you can turn the video off now, I'm giving some break. So, we're see my youth. Good night, sir. How are you? Blessed night, you know? Yeah, man, I'm fine, you know? A evening over here now still, is it? In a rich night, it's still. Really? Yeah, man. Sun is shining the same way, man. Sun shining. You're in Canada. Yeah, man. In Canada right now, I talk to British Columbia, man. So you're a farm worker? Was a farm worker. You work? At the, you... Same, at, at the same farm. So the video that I just showed you, you used to work on that farm? At the same house, in the same room. In the same house and the room that I just showed yeah. on my YouTube, you see, you 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 you, you, you used to live in that house on that farm. Yes. What's the name of that? What's the name of that farm? GP Sanders. GP Sanders owned by Bill Sanders. One owned by Bill and one owned by Dave. They are two brothers who run the run it. GP oh so the, the GP it's Sanders. GP Sanders Sanders so you're saying that the farm so you do so wait 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 when did you go over there last year huh last year last year so that is 2021 you went over there was my second time, you know? So it was your second time going on the farm? Yeah. Wow. And you say you live in the same place that I just showed? Yes, man. That was the same room, man. All of the brothers that were here are talking about in the apartment. So how many of you live in that room? Brother, over 48 are we in the smallest room, brother, and that is just the medium room, brother. 48 a.l. in one room? Yes, man. You know, say a bunk bed, big man, top and bottom, man. Just imagine 40 man a poop one time, brother. 40 man a fart one time, brother. So how many bathrooms you have? Well, you know, you don't know. See, man, I can use a jail bathroom set in a line. That's so invested, you know? Or you have to be tired them set in a jail as for them set, you know? And we have to go to go clean it up and them thing there. Everything was, was in a mix, you know? So, up and all of them thing there, you know? We have to go to go clean it up, you know? When we report it and tell the boss, them say, want it clean and them thing there, them tell me, say, we have to clean the shit, you know? But we go to go see it. What you just said, sir? Yes, man, I tell you straight, I'm not going to say it, my brother. I'm not going to say it. So you say, either the bathroom, when you go there and see the, 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 the feces, they say it's owner must clean it up? And the boss, why I tell you that straight, man? Whoa. Yes, man. You understand? The only time you see we see the boss is only when work when him want him work done. When we attack what we pay shot and all of them things there, we not see we not see nobody at all. So only get shot P over there too? Yes, man. Enough man work on them or oh, shot man. Enough man work on them and not and can't even talk, brother. Because the same Jamaican them 
where them stand together, they must fight them one another, you know? Whoa! This is serious, man. I'm going to tell you, Andrew. So, if a man in me call you and tell you to make a call you back. Yes, I remember. My, my question is, right? The gentleman yes, that they carried in the stretcher, what really caused him to reach in the stretcher? Yeah, what one of them things they said now? We, we picked the cherry, them, an apple, on a three foot leather, right? Mm hmm. On a three foot leather. Some of the leather, them are 10 feet, some of them are 14 feet, or uh, 15 feet. You understand? And pan three down, foot down, leather, down, 10 feet. Repeat that. Uh, 15 feet. Three foot, uh, three foot leather go up to the 10 feet. Mm -hmm. 20 feet to 15 feet, you understand? Going up on that ladder, you have a basket around your neck, around, to chop on to your chest. Mm. You understand? I have a picnic cherry, them one one by stem. Once them come off, the stem come off, they're not good again. And you see, you have to stretch reach the cherry, them sometimes, and sometimes they didn't break. You understand? So, so the man them end up drop off of the ladder now and damage themselves. So my question is, is these men don't have on protective gears. Brother, when you are when you, when you are working a tree and I like say a big mango tree up in you know, a some fragile tree you know, as a lean panel limiter give way you know, as a leader lean panel limiter broke off. You know. Oh, so this the tree them not firm. Tree them, the tree them lean bristle. Whoa. You understand? So mm. if you take a suburb and use a balance of a lid and jump on a limb, it's still a tear down with it. Whoa! You understand? Enough of the man, enough things on my brother where injustice. You understand? I tell you that straight. Enough man get affected by chemicals. Enough man get affected by a lot of things, brother. And can't stop, brother. Because the laser and officer for corruption, is it? So the laser and officer would be like the union representative? Jamaican laser officer man, but some of them live over here. Oh, they so live in Canada. Yeah. They, they, they get sent for Ministry of Labor, but they live in Canada. You understand the level me I say? Mm -hmm. So come like them get buy out from the bigger boss. Them. So yeah, so the liaison officer that should represent would represent your views that are sent. You know what year we, you know we are saying? Wow. It's like we have no talk, we have no say, we have no rights. We now have nothing, nothing further. If me never dig off, more even know what would have better, better brother. So you run off? Yes, ma'am. So how you can run off? How you run off on the program? I have to talk to you, this gentleman. Mighty God. So you're saying that if you never run off, you put you probably would have ended up in a situation similar to the gentleman in the in the in the stretcher. You understand that, man. So, the man in the stretcher, is it a normal thing for them to be there? How often these things happen? Brother, accident go on from farm regularly, brother. But, but, but just when you call the liaison officer, the man didn't think that the only thing they want is to send you back here, yeah, nothing more. So, if you call the liaison officer, they're going to set you to go to your yard. They just book a ticket for you, they just know hear what you are saying. Because they say, when you go home, a thousand more days, they're waiting to come back up. Wow. You can be replaced, you understand? So you're, they're saying basically you can be replaced, so it's either you take it or leave it. Exactly, Andre. Wow. Yes, ma'am. As soon as Holland, Holland. I see another Canadian calling me. Look, Canadians calling in tonight. Look like another one wants to tell me what is happening in Canada. They're going call. So basically, it's modern day slavery. Brother, where's the modern day slavery, brother? You understand? Imagine it. Hold on there, hold on there, hold on there. Hello, good night. Welcome to Padna Draw TV. Or the person gone again. Mm hmm. Imagine you get up, you get up five o'clock, five o'clock, four o'clock, and if you, if you prepare yourself to go to work, I'm on. Time. Hold on again, hold on. Hello, good they, evening. They going to Hello. Yes, good evening. Hi, Andre. Ah. Uh -huh. 
Is it Andre? Yes, it is. Lady, you have to turn off your phone. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no. Yes, 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 I did. I did, I did. Um, I am not a farm worker, but I have a lot of friends who come up on the farm work program. All right, let me talk. Let me, let me, let me finish the exclusive with a man who is a farm worker. But why are the farm workers calling first? And no, 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 no. no. I, okay, I, 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 I want to say something quick. What he is saying is correct, and the and the liaison officers they are by they're being bought out by the people that are running the farm. The Jamaicans who are living here as liaison officers they are not helping the farm workers at all. They are stressed out. The chemicals that are being used they don't get proper PPE. They they they're living in horrible conditions. Also, they're working overtime, even on holiday, and they're not getting double time. Whoa! Yes, they're supposed to get double time. They don't get, they all day pay, they pay them straight. Sometimes, even if they're sick and they say, like I had a friend who last year, he went to the doctor, and here in Canada, nobody goes into the doctor with you. The people I'm from the farm want to go in with the guy. I said, no, and because he refused have the person come in with him to talk to the doctor. They messed him up. And when he applied back to come, there's a lady in Jamaica who messed up his application. He paid, he used his visa Whoa. to pay for the Canadian visa. He had to pay for his Canadian visa twice. Mighty God! Last year. So Andre, what I'm telling you, these guys are suffering. Suffering. You understand me? A lot of them, they come here and they must have sucked salt through wooden spoon mm. in order to make a little money to go back home. You understand? Mm. A lot of them are suffering. They don't pay them enough money. Some of them are bathing in dirty water and get infection. I had what? To take a guy off. I had to take a guy off the farm last year and take him to the doctor to get checked out. He was in BC. BC. British Columbia. Yes. And in, and, and in, and in St. Catherine, and in Simcoe, and all over the place that they have the farms. And the guy in Jamaica who say the stories are like, he is a liar from the pit of hell. He needs to come to Canada, go on the farm, and talk to them. And so you're saying that Carl Samuda's views are definitely... Lies and misrepresentation Lies of the truth. Because you know what? All of them are just very corrupt. All right, let me get back. I want to hear back from the caller. Yeah? Uh, so let me go talk back to him. So my boss. Yeah, brother. So you only never see the Minister of Labor and Social Security from Jamaica come and talk to him over there and do site visits and sit. Well, you know, when, when, when him dead, you know, me not dead, you know. So, Carl Samuda, come over there, come look for you. I know about that, you know, because I tell him, me not dead, you know. Whoa. So, how long? So, you run off because you couldn't take him aboard? Why, brother, you don't saw the thing around the yard already, you know, so you don't know. Make so you say nothing now go on a yard, you go to Canada, hope you could get an opportunity. So, you see, say a slavery, say you run away. Is it? Mighty God, my friend. Oh, yeah, manage. Oh, man, I have, 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 have my qualification, man. I have a little tree from art and them things, man. You see me? In a mechanical engineer, you know? So you don't know. So you manage them. Yeah. So you're better off now? Yes, man. man. All right, man. Good, 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 man. You see me? I'm a princess there, man. You see it? I go and be, you know? So me going to ask you a question. Is there a high frequency of people running off? Yes, man. Because what? The people want better. Oh. People want better. Whoa. You understand? Because number one, the government of Jamaica not doing anything for us, my brother. Not even NH NHT plan contribution we can't, we can't really even show. Or even say, they may even secure something for we when we even come back a yard and watch them. Nothing. You understand? No benefit, nothing. Whoa. You understand? So you think, or you think things are get better? Things not gonna get better, brother. Whoa. You understand? I tell us straight, things not gonna get better, brother. And enough you can hold it like how me you hold it, brother. 
Whoa. Yeah, man. I tell the straight brother, the same farm, same room, everything, brother. So you said on average 48. More than that in the room that alone where you look for man. So what is the, the, the maximum of men who sleep in that room? Me that's all right, when when, when the farm full overall, the bunk house have over 160 ad man. Whoa. You understand? Because a tree department, you know. You understand mm. a tree a tree tree big area mm. would be a bunk bed. bed. Yeah, you understand? Mm -hmm. So you don't know. I really thought no, no. I thought when you guys went on the farm work program, you know, you guys had your privacy, your own room, and all of these things, you know. Well, well you know, may I be honest, you know. Some farm farmer, you go to them work, or may I be honest with you. Mm. You understand? But the thing, the one them when we come across in a British Columbia, brother, no sir. The worst farm ever come from, brother. May I be honest, because the first time I travel. Ontario, me go. Mm. They live like a king, they say. You see, I'll be honest with you, you know? You understand? Me so you're there. saying it's not necessarily true all over Canada, it's just some parts of Canada? Yeah, some, some boss deal with it like shit, brother. Mm. Most of them, 98% of them deal with it like shit. They're not even a pretty up, brother. 98% of them, not, not respect we, because they have to say we can replace. See, I have no privacy. You guys get health, health insurance? Yeah, we get health insurance, but it doesn't make no sense. Why you don't say the health insurance don't make no sense? Because at the end of the day, you still have to go in your pocket and do what you have to do. And mm. it come like say, the health insurance not cover nothing. What they say to cover. You understand? Because cause you, you know, like say, you're working at, yeah, me, we did a plan to me the first time ago. You understand? Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest with you. You see, the smell of the tomato sauce of them, brother, that are the chemical when we are breathing in, you know, brother. Sick me, you know, brother. Let me spit blood, you know. What? <laughs> All right. So, yes, you me, said the you. chemical. From where? That from, from the tomato suckers that were planting. Mm. Make with spit blood. You understand? Just by the, 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 the about tomatoes, just not about the farm woman they take on last year. So the farm there, it does the chemical them So the chemical make you spit that 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 can't be healthy. No, 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 so is the chemical in in here after all that time that give him the cancer? Yes, man. I don't think they are sick them off, man. Wow. Yes, man. This is them serious. Yes, yeah, I mean, no for the man them will get damaged the brother. No for them I get damaged off a dropping off a leather. No for them I get damaged by reindeer. Reindeer I run through the field and just punks a leather and them, them just uh, drop off. So all reindeer? All reindeer really couldn't do? That not safe. I better not turn a yard and, and plant up some farm. Yes, man. And a better rose, brother. I mean, I'm not afraid to tell you that, man. You see me? What is the name of the chemical that you guys um inhaling? We don't know. You don't know the name of the chemicals. You're just using them. No, no, we don't know. Because the Mexican, them, Mexican, them mix the chemical, them, you know? Man, so the Mexican mix the chemicals. They are the ones who apply the chemicals are Jamaicans. No, Mexican them apply, apply the chemicals there. Oh, are you guys got your go plant and reap? And we plant and reap. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. This is an eye opener. This is definitely an eye opener. Brother, what if I injustice, my my lad? What if I injustice, brother? You understand? We don't have no benefit. Nobody man them not have plant to come back home, you understand? Because you know, the knockman can't have principle of making money, but they don't have principle of saving money, you understand? So he did, he did Ministry of Labor, did that something like contribution, NHD contribution, and all of them things there. Mm. It's good a bit for them. You understand? Nothing like that. Nothing. Nothing. You understand? So knockman come back and, and end up a square one, you understand? Just because I'm from paycheck to paycheck. Simple. So, on average, what is a paycheck like for a farm worker? More than police pay, yeah, man. Yeah, but how much do you get? How do you get paid? Weekly, fortnightly, what? 
Fortnite, Fortnite. So on a fortnightly basis, so much money a, a average farm worker makes? It all depends for all right. You see, you don't know you have to work 80 hours by law, right? Mm -hmm. not anything after that like overtime, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So if I work 80 hours, then you look for that thing, $1,600 flat. You know, 1600 Canadian? Yeah, you understand fortnightly, you see me? So you know, say, after that, after tax, you all go with $1,300 and then, you know? Mm -hmm. So you see, if a man, if a man not smart, Smart or them things, brother. I'm not going to have no money because over here, so a dollar is just a dollar. So if you go in a store and say you want to buy, buy a shoes or them things, you have to spend a lot of things and them things, you have to spend while you play, isn't it? Oh, so out of that 1600 right? Do you yeah, people have to. Man, no, we know, we must enough man there, uh, enough man there for a six month contract, you know. Mm -hmm. So if you can, if you do the match, say six to that by, by six month time, or nine months time, or a two year time, because enough money for a two year contract, you know, you understand? Enough money for a one year contract. Because mm -hmm. uh, the last contract for me, they go up and it's just a six week contract. So I never work no money. So it makes sense me to come back. Oh, them say they're a six weeks, so you're saying that this no make no sense, you just fly, fly, fly. Yes, man, no make no sense. Whoa. You understand? So out of the sixteen, all right, out of the sixteen hundred, you have to pay for housing and them something there. Yeah, you have to pay for your housing, utility, and then you have um, the plane fare, the plane fare where 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 them where them buy the tickets for you come come over there. Wait, 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 wait. All right, so you get the sixteen hundred. The same place where dirty and support, you still have to pay them out of that. Rent. So you have to pay rent for which part your desk? Yes, man. So how much do you pay for rent a month time? Well, you know, you see, you see, you, you, you see for instance, they have a limit, you know, where you have to stop, you know. You understand? So for instance, for the whole six months you have to the rent would have come up to uh, $2,000. That's an example. That's an example. Mm. Like, but that is not the figure, you know. You understand? But otherwise from that, they know say it come out like $30 every paycheck or $25 every paycheck or $50 every paycheck. You understand? Whoa! Remember how much power they work. So the more money you work, the more them draw. Different than the tax where you pay. No, this is not safe, yeah, man. So basically, I know, I know. basically, you do not really make no money then. The Jamaican, they pay tax and them, them pay tax and them some of them. And the only time they can get it back is like, or when them, when them come back up or them can file for them tax return and them somebody. But otherwise than that, they don't have the money for that. Whoa. Yeah, man, it's rough, man. You see it. You never have to tell your brother. I hear your case, my boss. And I will I'm keep in... Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to tell you again, brother. Now watch nobody, brother. Just do what you have to do, brother. Stay up on top. Stay focused, brother. If you're confident in yourself, Andre, you're twice defeated in the way of life. That's true. The choice you made today will be termed your future tomorrow. And I mean, no dirty mouth and no pig and stuff. Yeah. All right, my boss. Blessings. Yeah, man. Mm. Think up, bro. Minister Carl Samuda. Mm. Minister mm. Carl Samuda. Lord God, the mm. people them star. Mm. The people them. Lord Jesus. Mm. Oh my Lord! Look what the man them in a British Jesus, mighty God, and a lot. Look, Jesus, look there. We and let me forward these pictures to you. We and try get these pictures on the screen. We and get these pictures on the screen. Mighty God. Look at the conditions the people have to be living under. Good night. Good night, Andre. Yes, good night. I have a little to add to what that young man just I'm talking to you about the farmer program. I'm glad I had this opportunity. Yes. I traveled on the farmer program for seven seasons, right? I was working in Nova Scotia, and let me tell you, the people that were there, Jamaica, when
we send we come and Canada come come work. They need to come come visit the farm them and look how the boss and treat we are how we live like rat up here like that. Mighty God. Lady, what you rat and dog?
Listen to me, nine people I use one stove. Everybody wake up four o'clock. Everybody have to drink tea before the end of hour. Boom. So, much of that. One stove to all nine people. Nine somebody I use one stove. Much of that. One bathroom. One bathroom you have 11, 12 female. I use one bathroom. Sometimes they make some out of the bathroom in the winter. You have to put on your jacket when you go to the bathroom for your beard. Wow! Mighty God! The man will tell you same thing, brother. I don't man will tell me because they spray, they spray the plant then two days, and two days after they send your legs to go into the war. No, lady, this is serious. I'm not telling a lie, I took me so I'm glad I get to talk to you, Andre. I'm glad to tell. Because I'm mm. one of them, one next girl will run off, you know. Call me and say to me, I'm going to go with my farm of them. Mm-mm. And I bet I roast people, see people that come back from work and things that when you come here, you come back home with me and me. Enough people come back from work and spend six months and go with that $2,000, $3,000. Whoa, so that doesn't make no sense. It don't make no sense. And the, the, the minister, the foreign minister, feel look into it to better because the minister of labor charge you, which I call it layers and fee. I mean, I don't have to tell you that part of the night. That's one of the tax where you pay. Layers and fee, $5.45 a day you pay. The only way you don't pay unless you work under four hours. Whoa. Pity it here. If you work anywhere from four hours or up, up, you have to pay $5.45 for layers and fee, and they're not doing one shit. Whoa. And look here. If tw if 200 persons up on one farm, mm -hmm. calculate $5.45 a day for one somebody. Whoa. For 80 hours. And see how much money that one somebody pay for six months to layers and alone. And the layers and we are working for Canadian government. Tell truth. No, this serious man. And then know when you die, you die and what do you do so much for Canada government and Canada country? Because the people that we can hear them, they believe to them now and work out. When we work out there, the sun at 29 degrees, 30 degrees. When we out there working at them, say so they're not working in it. Mm-mm. We're not following you out there, put on raincoat and you're working on raincoat out there. You're not know, finding a Canadian do that. That is the reason why they bring weak on every couple kill we have. Whoa. All right, may I get another call here? May, may I give you one more point, Ango? Yes. The next thing you go to Canadian, if you travel five years, four years, three years, ten years, and you go to Canadian embassy, go apply if you get a visa, if you come here, they'll give you, then turn you down. If you run out for your day, you have to dig deep to get yourself straight here. Yet still you, you put in so much years in Canada. That makes sense. So you're saying after all of those years when you go to the Canadian embassy, you're being denied a visa? They're not going to be kind of the visa. You're not going to fit to them country no more. Wow. They're not going to work on their program no more. And I saw the Jamaican government set it up that way there. Wow. Andre, if America, they must suffer. And can't some of them do better. Minister Carl Samuda, hear your Jamaicans. Hear the Jamaicans in Canada, Minister Samuda. I am making no trouble. I'm just bringing light and I'm bringing light to the issues affecting the Canadians, to the Jamaicans yeah. in Canada. Many of them have to be running off, Minister Samuda. All right, mommy. Doing. Good job, my brother. Okay, blessings. Good night. Good night. Uh -huh. <clears throat> um, anyway, um, Andre, everything that lady says just now is one hundred and fifty percent back. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've been I've been in you 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 work on the farm work program? No, I don't. All right. So here's the truth. As soon let other people call in. You understand? I want the farm workers call in. Okay. All right. Fine. Let them call in because they have them burning issues, and I want to hear from them. You hear? 
Okay. Thank you, my darling. I want the cat, I want the farm workers calling. Guys, over 8,200 people are on the live and it's only 3,200 people like the live. You see, when, the, when, you, when, when less people like the lives, the life cannot get to become viral and it cannot get come on. I want everybody to like up the life. I want everybody to like up the life. Like up the life, no man. Like up the life. Like up the life. Press click the thumb. Like up the life. Tell me if it is going up, guys, because I can't see it on my screen. Hello? Hello, good night. Yes, you're a farm worker? I worked on the farm before. Mm but not as a farm worker. And all that you're saying is true. You work from six o'clock to six in the afternoon. That's a regular work hour. At one so time, I work from 4.30 until eight o'clock in the afternoon. I have to stand on your foot and work. So 12 hour shifts? 12 hours, you get one break at 10 o'clock. That's, that's 15 minutes. If you're lucky to be on a farm, you'll just that gives you 45 minutes for lunch. Other than that, it's half an hour. Wow. You get another break at three o'clock. And that's 15 minutes. Right? They're talking about the chemical. Sometimes you're in because I worked in a packing room. And I worked and sometimes you're spraying while you're working. So they're spraying the workers. Whilst they're working, you're spraying, okay. no, you're spraying the plant, and you are. They have a man spraying, and you are the one who is budding. So Whoa. while you are working, the man is spraying. So you may be spraying the the other row going down, and you are picking right beside him. I wasn't a farm worker, but I say when COVID hit, my job was closed down. I went to the farm and I worked. Wow. And all the conditions you are speaking about is the truth. They don't want them to report accidents because they report accidents. The farm workers don't know they are covered by WSIB, which is work, Workers Insurance um, Benefit Program, mm. right? So if they go there and there are a lot of accidents on the farm, they come and investigate them and they'll charge them. They don't do that. That is the reason why when the workers said they wanted the lady said they wanted to go in with the guy at the um the GP is the truth. Wow. They don't want it to tell them what is happening there. A lot of the EI they don't tell them they can apply for their EI. They don't tell them that their CPP with the Canada Pension Plan, whether you're in Canada, yes or no, once you have reached retirement age, you're supposed to get it. Wow. They don't tell them that. During the COVID, whatever the workers say, it was true. Really? Persons were working. They were working right beside each other, touching each other shoulder to shoulder. So they were not, so they, the COVID time. protocols were not being observed? No, but when the, when they were being um, assessed, they put on, you, okay, I worked at a farm, and when they were being assessed, they let us put on overall, they let us put on the gloves, they let us put on the hair net and all of those stuff. And we have any little gowns and we, we you saw us taste out and everything. They mm. cleaned up the farm. So when Mr. Samuda went there, they cleaned up the farm. So when Mr. Samuda went there, Mr. Samuda did they not get the truth. He would have seen that because they would have maybe say, oh, we're going to get an inspection, we need to clean up. So, there, so therefore, the, the, you're saying then the liaison officers who get by out are the ones responsible for misrepresenting the truth of what is happening to the farmers? Of course, because when, whenever you're going to get an inspection, they know they're going to get an inspection next week. They may not know which day next week. So mm. they know that they, Mr. Samuda would have been coming, so they clean up the place and they may say to the worker, we need to clean up an inspection. They may not tell them who is coming. All of those stuff that they're telling you is true. Sometimes 
the workers have to start from 4.30 in the morning, especially the ones who are working in the greenhouse. Because when the workers come in for the packing house at 6 o'clock, if you're packing um, tomatoes, you have to be ready. Whoa. When, when the lady told you about the 30 degrees, when you bring in a bottle of ice, like frozen bottle, at 6 o'clock, 6.30, that one is hot. You can use it and make tea. How the greenhouse is hot. Mm. It is, it is. I, I worked there and I'm I there and I only worked there for a short period of time because that was not my job. And I said it, it was modern day slavery. Whoa. It is slavery at the highest. No Canadian is coming to do that. None of them. So is the people. None of them is coming to do that. Whoa. They're not coming to do that. All right. Thank you for your representation. You hear? Okay. Have a good night. All right. But I believe that what Carl Samuda and the ministry should have done was to send undercover investigators to go and find out really what is happening before he put out a pronouncement to say that he rejects the pronouncement by the Jamaican farm workers. Press the thumb, like up the, the video, no? like up the video, like up the video. I go and let some other people call. This person say them have a story to tell. Let me. This one seems serious. What is really happening with our farm workers? Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah, I'm a farm worker. You're a farm worker, sir? Yes, I used to be. And I have some experience I can tell you, man. What happened? To, where where were you? Which which state? Which which area? Ontario, Canada. So you have in Ontario, Canada, you have farm workers as well. Yes. Wow. Tell me what yeah, is that? My, my yeah, my experience it, it, it rough, you know, really rough. And what happened? The last officer do not really care about the diet. He come here and the job. All they care about is to grab us our money. Now when they come and they're supposed to come on the farm and check out if we are doing okay, they are not coming. Mm. You know? Yeah, that's the way they So it's the one of the major problems are the liaison officers. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, for fact. So it's the one of the liaison officers don't do their part. It's a bad re representation. Yes, and when you do get injured, the next thing when you get injured, the boss gonna tell you, put you down in the house for two days. On the third day, if you can't go to work, they're gonna ship you back to Jamaica. That's what that's what they do with those guys. So them. you're saying that after two days, and you can't get yes. up back to go work. They then basically yes. take you up and run you back to Jamaica. Yes. Not they even must... find a way to send you to the hospital. No hospital. No hospital. You have your work. If you do if you do even tell them to care you go to the hospital, you have to pay for that, right? So that is how the man died earlier this in an in August. Yeah. Well, I think that guy worked in that for like thirty what, maybe thirty years. These are the farmer and they do not train to operate. This is a problem with we Jamaica. We come here, we come on farm work and we do not train. We do not train to operate tractor. They just take and throw away and tractor and we get through we can drive and we just go and drive. They do not train we, we do not get the right gears them. Yes, the chemical is the same thing for the chemical. Yes, so the chemical is a major part problem. Yes, the guys they need to train and know the type of chemical they are using. And they are not they do not train for it and they do not know the type of chemical they are using. And the chemical is very dangerous to our health. Right? And when you when you talk to the boss and you tell them something they're gonna tell you, oh, you know a lot of guys that you make a call in us want to come up and they want So how many years you've been working on the farm work program? I do two here, and I tell you it was rough. Two so years. you're not going back? No, I, I stopped, man. I stopped a long time now. But I do live in Canada, so I have experience, and I have friends I go check lots of times. So it's not, it's not run, you run off? 
Yeah. No. Oh, Carl, look like everybody are running off on the program. Yes, Carl, everybody are looking better, Carl. It really looks, to be honest, it really looks. I'd want to hear, I would in, I want to invite, I would want to invite Carl Samuda to come on my platform. I'd want Carl Samuda to come I and to... Hmm? I, I hear some people say some things, when it comes on to the money, remember, we are living in Jamaica, we live in Jamaica, we are working for two weeks in Jamaica, how much are we make 100,000 for two weeks in Jamaica? I'm just asking a question. Not how many. Okay, and if you... In Canada, Canada people, people live in Canada making eight hundred, nine hundred dollars per two week in Canada. Mm. And as a farmer, can you come here and maybe you work a little overtime and if you work sixteen hundred dollar, they gonna draw a tax out of it. And I do when they draw a tax. Once you have given maybe get like up to fourteen hundred dollars. Mm. Now you pay less tax. So yeah. These people say they work sixteen hundred dollar, they get in eleven hundred dollar. That, I don't think that is fact. That is not fact. Once they have kids, they're going to pay less tax. And when they talk about pension, mm. you cannot talk about pension or whether you're young days. They go pension. If they need to make a working and they join pension money, you're going to get pension after 65. You have to apply for your pension. My, I, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, I understand. Some of the things that them have come to and I say mm. about not really relevant right now. But they mm. need better care. The, the liaison officer need to take mm. more care of the people that leave Jamaica because they are the ones that get the money in the pocket. Mm. All they do, what the airport has to do, the airport when they know the farm work and they have come down and dig out them pocket, take them money. Oh, you come, come, give me something. That's all they stay at the airport and do. So, at that, that, so the liaison officer, them come in like scammer then? Yes, they come at the airport and lay with you. The last time I'm coming to Jamaica, I have to tell one of them. He cannot tell me, oh, come. They just are coming, boss. I said, listen, you guys stop me from coming on your program long time now. I'm, no, I'm not your farm worker no more. Right? Mm. And they walk left me. Because they hold on for the farm worker, then they have to pay them. If you don't pay them, you know, next year you don't have a contract. That's the way they deal. Wow. They do me that. They do me that. 2011, when I supposed to come up, and they call me. The boss sent me medical and everything. I go to medical. When I go, they tell me, oh, somebody in your space already to fly on the day I supposed to fly. You mm, know? Understood. I just, yeah, that's the way they be, man. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for your views. Yeah. All right. Mm. Yeah, man. You are. Hello. Good night. I am, I am here with Yes. Hello, good night. Good night. Yeah, you don't want to I'm going to say this to you. you know, when you going to call me, you to turn off the something because you have bad feedback. I'm saying to you, when you're calling the program, Whoa, this one serious. This one serious. This is a this one is serious. The lady asked me to call her because of the situation and I call if she's not answering. Hello, good evening. Yes, dear me not hear you know you have to talk up. Hi, good evening, Andre. I'm looking at this quick. Man, We're not hearing you, darling. You have to talk up. Are you hearing me now? Yes. All right. My daughter father is in Canada right now on the farm work. And he has two broken ribs. He has what, ma'am? Two broken ribs. Two broken ribs? Yes. He slipped and fell from last week one day, and mm. they came and took his documents and nothing mm. else after that. He's still waiting to see what they are going to do, either to sing. Up. So two broken ribs. So he's not at the hospital. Yes, he went to the hospital last week, and they do a CT scan. And let me tell you something. 
the same Jamaican people that we are are crab in burial. They are crab in burial. They don't even want to help him or assist him to the hospital. Wow. He had to look at them and say to them, "On the one." I don't want to spit out blood for me to run the brush me go to hospital. That's so how did he end up with two broken ribs? He he was walking, rain was falling and he was walking um, at his home. And the step, he was, it's like it just happened quick. It's like him just slip and fall. There was no railing on the step at all where he could hold on. He said that the way it just happened is walk. He's walking in up. And he just slip and fall, bloop, hit his side on the, the arm step. And he's waiting, nobody has nobody seen anything. Them just step the paper and that's it. Wow. You don't even know. If he's going to come out, yes or no, he's still waiting. He has family out here. My daughter needs to go to school and finish up her books, my books. He's worrying. Nobody does anything up to now. Nobody's don't even listen. The thing if they're going to ship them out or what is very in pain, they just give him medication, pain medication, and that's it. And you say his ribs are broken, two broken ribs. And my daughter is here worrying, and it put a hole on us because we have back to school, we have the books, them and so to buy, and he's worrying over there. And nobody said anything today, is Thursday, and it's last week, Monday. It happened and they took him documents and nothing all now. I believe they're going to send him home. Nothing all now. And and the same Jamaican just fight. Them stand up over him. One of them said to him, say, never eat my dinner before they rush him to hospital. Them say, never eat my dinner. The same Jamaican he's working on marks. Wow. This is this is horrible. This is heartbroken. I am heartbroken by all of this that you're saying. The next one don't even business when you're in the hospital. The next one don't even say, um, bro, you're all right. Nobody say anything to me. Where in Canada is your husband? I forget, I forget the name of it. I forgot the name of the farm. And it's like when you're in the hospital, the, the two men, they walk on them, yeah, the, you understand them going to ask if you're all right, how you feel it, them stay behind them asleep, and one of them will make up in face. So you just say, you just say, bro, you want to go home? And you know, them hold up and go, you know, one tree, them hold up and leave the hospital, let him go in there, them don't even show no sympathy and say, you know what, you're sick, man, me stay, me go out, stay with you. They won't go to the yard and let him go to the hospital. Wow. And I am here worrying because I am in Jamaica. I'm not the calling of the second, even though you can't use the phone, video calling. And how, all he's thinking about is the back to school. That's all he's thinking How long now your husband over there? Him just go up there, me. Me and this happened to him already. And this happened to him already. So what, what's the name of the hospital that he's at? No man, he's at home and he's at home in pain. Last so him, him not even get hospital treatment. You are saying him no, not them just, them just them just give him pain killer and, and, and that's it. Whatever. With two broken ribs. He's still in pain. Yes, two broken ribs. He's at home where the farm is. And he's in pain. Wow. And, and and it's so true, it is so true that the more from month. No, sir. And I'm so busy, I'm tired, no, I'm so bored, she's um, I'm tired. I'm so busy, I'm tired, I'm so bored, I'm so just a big thing, daughter, I'm just a big thing, daughter. The whole day, and you don't get no day off, Sunday to Sunday. No day off. No, they are. Because of him, that's how you think about the family and say, all right, make him just go do it. And then everything. Oh, Lord. It, it hold a pause on the book, the book list for my daughter and so on. But I'm here fretting and he's still in pain. He said, go out and comfort him. He might just go on one side. He might just sleep on one side. And he said, why are you missing him out? Why don't you hold him out? Let me just look after him. Whoa. That's why I was calling 
That's why I was calling to say, Andre, do you have any work or anything like that? Because I don't want him to come out and he's sitting down and I'm sitting with him. At least if I can cook, cook the breakfast in the morning, back and cook. That's why I was asking for a job. Uh, well, I don't, we don't have any job now. I really don't know of any job now. But everything that people are saying is so true. It is so true. Everything that people are saying, it is so true. All right, we'll keep in touch with you here. No problem, thank you. She's a she's a chef. I do secretarial work also, office work. Anybody want to give her a job? Cause she says she don't know the future. Hello. Hello. Um, Andre, when it comes to a broken ribs. There is nothing can be done about a broken ribs. It's just got to heal on its own. They're just only going to give you painkillers and it heal on its own. Oh, wow. Yes. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Thank you for that. Mm. Hello? Mm. Hello? Andre. Andre. Yes, blessings, boss. We didn't have Canada. Give me that lady the number. Let me can call it. You then the, you want the lady's number to do what? Give me the number for the lady. So we can get some information. So we can get to the umbrella. So we can shed some light with the ministry. So the ministry of can know what's going on. All right. So these are past for America. I mean, what they must say are true. So give me the more the contact for you. I'm telling you what to do. Don't make them send him down. So yeah, say, don't make them send him down. So we need a number for you. So we can't call me there. Let me send you a number. All right. Let me tell you what to do. All right. Yeah, man. Cool. That's a Oh, Landy. May I send the number? Hello? Hello? Hi, Andre. Sorry to disturb your program, but I'm listening in. I'm actually a registered nurse here in Canada. I want some more information because I really want to help these people. I'm also Jamaican. And um, I live close to a farm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm in Milan, close to a farm. All right, I will send you I will send you the number for the lady. You hear? Yes, send me the number because I want to help these people. Like they, like they are protected by the ministry. And I can report because it's my legal duty to do it. So as long as I have some concrete proof, I can go ahead with this. Because this is unacceptable. All right, no problem. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks, Yeah. Any more in... Somebody did that call me, but him never... Let me call him back. I say it was a farm worker, but him not understand that when... When um him a talk to me on the phone, him can have the, the reaction. Hello? You guys cannot call me and the phone have the, the reaction, it, it, the feed. Andre, Andre, lock off the laptop. I, I wasn't sure you were going to answer me because I've been calling, okay? All right. Sorry about that, my darling. Can you hear me? Mm, yes. Okay, good night. So I didn't come up on the farm work. However, I came through the Ministry of Labor to Canada. Mm -hmm. For my Canada, Andre, I yeah. was in $4,000 worth of debt, Canadian dollars. You were in $4,000 worth of debt? <laughs> Andre, I look for the receipt them to tell you the, 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 the real price. And, yes, Andre, you saw me land at Toronto? Yeah. The liaison officer sent someone to make sure so we board the plane to manage money, money over. You 
If I get more money, so bad, I want to be cool if you get in Canada. Anyways, when yeah. Elan at Toronto, me here, so there's the person who we have come work with, then by bed, then by phone, then by park. And the people, them. Hurry, show the house and make we not much debt without our knowledge, you know? Whoa. Remember say, yeah, without our knowledge. Yeah, three of us came up. Andre? Mm-hmm. We don't come from farm work, but you see the liaison officer when we were experiencing difficulties? Yeah. She's not better with we, my love. She's not, no. Mm -mm. So what she do? What she do? She on the phone and tell her that we go and work with it, and that she do. So, what you to do, so, the, so one of the major issues are the liaison officers. Yes, and she's big, big. Everybody know her. I will call her name. Because as I said, at the receipt, then I look um, for I'm a check. Listen, Andre. Mm. Yes, when we come, as $200 away, I get our two-week paycheck. And we have rent. $200? $200. $200. Yes, we have rent. Yes, and we have rent. Yeah, because they must did up, them did up money, them did up, them did up, but them money will owe them per month, right? And they want to get it back as quick as, as soon as possible, right? Mmm. Did up money left, right, and center, which they weren't supposed to do, but I mean, them buy the things, them and them want about them money. Mm-hmm. Andre, you see the girl woman come up with she about every day for two years. <laughs> two years? Yeah, two year contract will get Andre. She ball every other day, she ball. So, why did never come back on the yard? Be a stress, Andre. Be a stress. When you when you work, the people them attach the money, give you them not touch your hand. And if some of them are still black people, listen, Andre, we'll go, Andre, we'll go to go report the man, you know. We'll go to go report the man, but guess what? We couldn't get with papers if we report him. Really? And that's, that's yeah, when you go to the Ministry of Labor, I mean, I remember what them, them name in Manitoba. But when we went there, the guy, um, in Jamaican too, he recommended that we report him this, that, that, because what if things we go through? However, if we report the guy, if we report the, the, um, the owner, and what might do to it, as, as you can see now, you realize that nobody not really has come up come a restaurant and stuff anymore. Yeah. Because they clapped on. Yeah, because they clamp down on them, the people them go report them, so they're on a blacklist. Mm. They step, step on a blacklist and can't take nobody else to come in. So here in Canada, now I be a Filipino Indian. Oh. So the Jamaicans go really a come up for restaurants again. Actually, mm. mm. racism. The man, the, the, the owner, even one of the girls got fired. And she has a roof trap and going at school and you know? Mm. I, I, we have to have your head on your body when you come at them see yourself. You said the next girl I'm gonna come with, Andre. Mm -hmm. You see when I try to put you with your pants. Mm. The man the man tells the girl say no gear no no let her and I fire 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 no gear but no ring no ring you are contract, Andre. So serious to me that got you. Listen, the people them are serious something I want. In fact, I didn't know that um the farm workers work seven days a week. Whoa. You never know that you know. Well you know tonight says seven days a week them work now, they're not getting no and day work, off. And them work twelve hours for the day. Twelve hours so, a day times seven days a week. We, that's that a wickedness, you know. We never know that till me, you know, till, well, I actually have a brother on the farm work program now, so when he might tell me about the pay where I get, you know, when you work out back to Jamaican money, it's good money, but when you're here, a dollar is a dollar. Mm. You understand? However, there are ways to get yourself straight in Canada. There are many ways, many, many, many ways. So which is why we stay for the two years, we don't make no money. Every money going up bills and whatever we have to in fact in fact Andre, we were hired to be managers at restaurants. Mm. And yet, yet one week before we come up the ministry of call, we said we need to pay clean fear. So we're like, if we're managers, we're not supposed to pay. If you're a regular worker, you have you them them then you have to pay. But if you're a manager, they're supposed to buy your clean ticket. So everything is just I don't even know if it's about the program. Whoa. But I am glad that. Me um, open the can of worm. If you, see, if you have like a degree, if you have 
certificate, there are ways to get yourself straight if you come on this program. Mm. That's all we have to say for tonight. All have right. Night. Yeah, man. Okay, bye bye. Hello, good night. I am so glad I got you, Andre. Good evening. Um, really quickly, I wanted to pass some very important information on to you. Um, I, I was listening to your program. I am actually um, someone that works in human resources, so I'm very familiar with um, the um, both immigrants' rights in terms of like temporary workers. Um, my organization have operations both in the United States and Canada. Mm -hmm. And I think it is important and I'm happy to share this information and send it to you after your life. It's every um, immigrant, regardless of whether or not you're coming in to work on a temporary um, work sponsored program, they are fiduciary laws and obviously rules that every employer must adhere to. There's something called the occupational health and safety in the United States, it's OSHA. In Canada, it's O H and S, mm -hmm. and there's a contact number for them. It is one eight 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 four three four. Repeat zero. that for the Canadians to all of the farm workers. Them listen to this information. Repeat that. The number is one eight 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 four three four zero four one one. There is um, one eight eight. No, I want to repeat. You have to go slow eight. enough because yeah. okay. you're giving out yeah. information. Repeat no. the information. You're not. You're going too fast, my darling. What is okay. the information okay. about? Um, this is occupation health and safety. Every employer in both the United States, Canada, and, and London, they are regulated by OSHA regulations. And what OSHA does is that every employer must provide appropriate working conditions for its employees, whether they're temporary workers or they are workers that is coming under a sponsored program to come into work in any of, of, of the countries. Um, and so reaching out to the occupational health and safety is going to be primal. That number is one mm -hmm. eight 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 mm -hmm. four three four mm -hmm. zero four one one. Additionally, mm -hmm. additionally, there is the Ministry of Labor. There are regulations that every employee, regardless of your status, you have rights when you work in a country, especially when taxes are deducted from a pick from your paycheck. And the employer must provide um, a hazard free work environment for you. They must provide um, a safe working environment for you under OSHA. They also must provide training. There should be inspection. And so if every concerned Jamaica, Jamaicans tonight, both in the United States and Canada, can be able to reach out to the Canadian Ministry of Labor, mm. as well as occupational health and safety, they must make a call and complain for every farm worker that is working that they are aware of, the location of those farms, and the violation, and sending the photos, there will be an immediate complaint and an investigation. And the investigation, because what, essentially what happens in this particular environment in NC, they will come in, they will do a So you're saying if the farm workers take pictures and show the conditions that they're working on yes. them? Everybody should reach out. Those that have pertinent information, there should be a complaint and several complaints filed under OHMF. They yes. should file a complaint. They should reach out to the Department of Labor, the, Minist the Ministry of Labor in Canada. Mm. Because the operations, I mean, the organization that I am head over human resources, we have locations in Canada and we have them in the United States as well. So those employees have rights. And whether or not, whether it's the Jamaican sponsored mm. program that the Jamaican the, the, the Ministry of, of Foreign Affairs that regardless of who is actually sponsoring this program and if they are not adhering to the fiduciary responsibility to ensure those workers are safe, they, those, those farms will be fined 
and, mm. and possibly shut down. It so you're happening. saying... I will also encourage, so, I will also encourage mm -hmm. the local folks in Canada, get to your local reporting station and start reporting these incidents. We must activate our activism. So it's not only coming and, and texting and, and, and saying how bad it is. It's really doing something about it. The beautiful thing about living in the United States and living in, in Canada is that there will be actions taken for violations of such. Yes. And I wanted to call and share that information with you. So um, give them back the number. Time. Give them back the number. Yes. The number, again, Occupational Health and Safety, O H N head okay? Mm -hmm. One, eight. Eight eight so triple eight. Yes. Four four mm -hmm. zero four one one. Triple eight. One eight eight eight. One eight eight four, eight. Three, right. Four three four. Four three zero, four. four. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank zero, you for that four, information. One, one. And you can speak to me offline if you need any additional information. Just send me a WhatsApp and I'll respond to you, okay? Okay, take care. Be well. All right, my dear. Keep up the good work. God bless you. You see, everywhere in the world, I, I wouldn't be surprised if CNN and BBC are listening to me. I wouldn't be surprised if CNN and BBC are listening to me. You know, sister, people are listening. Andre? Yes, good evening. Good night, Andre. I totally agree with the young lady that just called just now. Any entity or any company with 50 or more employees is a standard protocol to follow the OSHA um, protocol. And they must be trained. They must watch a video of how to handle situation using chemical and stuff like this. So if these protocols are not being followed with any agency or any company, they are liable for lawsuits. They are liable for a whole string of stuff. So she's actually correct. Okay. Thank you for that, for reinforcing. All right? Yes. You know, sister, the program gone way above, above and beyond. Look how much people... Me never know so them the top and Aris people of Canada listen to me. For them calling you know, and give them your information. Because them want to see justice prevail, not just in Jamaica alone, but all across the world. Canada, Canada is a place, them say, that gives equal rights and opportunity to every human being. Hello, good evening. Sir, on an ear, so on an a calling me. Only if you turn off the something gives poor feedback. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Um, Angela. Yes, sir. Well, first time caller, but what I'm trying to tell you, you see, everything that I tell you about the farmer are 100 percent true. Okay. Mm hmm. I have a, I the church in here and the family, but I'm trying to tell you, I feel right. If you call someone with a want to know about family, call someone with a will have to um, sell one of his son undercover. Whoa. I'm right, you will know about family, because when, when she... Your phone shake it bad, sir. Sir, your phone shake it bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah. Let me call you about. Let me call you. Yes. Hello. Good evening. Hi. Good evening, Andre. Continue to do the great work you're doing. I'm just calling to tell you, yes, all the callers are speaking the truth about the Jamaican farm workers when they come to Canada. For example, Ontario, Canada, the farm workers are living in very, very deplorable conditions mm. um they are they're not treated humanely and there have been cases like where farm workers have died 
Jamaican farm workers have died. Um, and the, the Canadian human human rights had to step in. The, the Canadian Labour Board had to step in. Mm. Um, and these things are not being discussed in, you know, it, in Jamaica. Like, Jamaica is not aware of how many... Are you sure they're not aware or are you sure that they're being selective in their response? Of not reporting it. Yes, yes, but many have been injured, many have died in Canada, um, and they, they're just not treated like human beings. Now, who do we blame for this? Canada or Jamaica? I think in all fairness, I would say Mr. Carl Samuda is responsible for this. Because if he doesn't take the initiative to get on an airplane, fly to Canada, to unannounced, to see... But him saying, go on, him said if he was... What is being expressed, he rejects it. Because he was to have a press conference today, you know, and he couldn't have a press conference because the pressure come down upon them with the TikTok videos that, were, that became viral, you know. He needs to show up unannounced. 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 Right? Because unannounced, meaning he needs to show up without anybody knowing he is coming. Mm. Mm. The, the the conditions of the Jamaican farm workers are are worse than slavery. Literally worse than slavery. Mm. Right? He has to make improvement for the Jamaican. All right, let me take this other Canadian. You hear? Canada. Yeah. I want you. to take as much as I can. Thank you, dear. We'll follow up. Yeah. The person who was calling me just now can call back because I missed the call. Hello? Hello? Hello. Hi, Andre. How are you? Listen, me. Um, I understand what the lady is talking about, and um, everybody has the right to their opinion, okay? But Samuda, whether Samuda is coming up here or not, what happens is when he comes up, he's going to get put in a cushy hotel. He's going to be get shown around. Understand. I really understand. Yeah. I really understand. Yeah. But I really want the callers to call in. You hear? I really want the the true yeah. people who are affected by the situation call me and tell me their own story me have 50 minutes more with them but want to hear two more people talk and not true yeah talk for true if the call some would have come in, get thrown in a good hotel and whatsoever so therefore he yeah, needs to him need to send to a private investigator yes but the liaison officer and the health and the health inspector. They May I go take that call? I'm somebody from Canada call again, yeah? Please. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello? Yes, good evening. Yeah, um, one, good evening. Um, I want to let it known that um, there are programs here Starting the 8th of September, this September, there will be IRCC, that's um, the Immigration Service. They will be announcing uh, a path forward that farm workers can get onto to get your um, PR. To get that, sorry, I have to talk up when I hear you. You're so September nervous. 8th. Calm down and talk to me, man. September 8th. September 8th, mm hmm. Government of Canada, mm -hmm. right? They should announce a program for um, immigrant workers to go on. So the the prepared. government of Canada, right? This is some this is something that has been in motion for a while. As a matter of fact, there has been something in place for um, farm workers to go that they can apply to their family here. So you're saying that there are opportunities for farm workers to apply for the, 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 the family to come and be full residents? 
long time. I I am I am I am one of them. So all of your family up no. there with you, son? No, I'm not. I'm not. Um, I'm not married or nothing like that. So there, when I was applying for my um thing, I, I couldn't put anybody on it, right? So you're saying that you have gotten your residence in Canada? Yeah, from last year. Oh, congrats to you. So you're saying that the 8th of September, others who are on in Canada can apply for the permanent residence? Yes, but listen, um, there are some criteria that they have to meet. Like, for example, they have to work for one year. I know they have to work for one full year. There is an English test that they have, they have to do. Right? They have to pass. Mm -hmm. Right. One to pass. The main thing is passing the English test. Once you pass the English test, you're all right, because all you have to do then is your police record and stuff like that. But the main thing is passing the, the English test. And a lot of persons have problems with that. So a oh, lot of them can't pass the English test? That's the, that's the, that's the biggest problem. Because this, this is something that has been in place for years now. Wow. Last year when they announced the program that I applied on, they, they, they announced it mm -hmm. with, with streams for farm workers, with streams for nurses, with streams for... Um, oh, mm -hmm. And believe me, within a week, the student one was closed. It was full. Oh. I had to close it off. The nurses one, it lingered for a while, but then it closed. The last one to close was the farm workers one because a lot of persons couldn't get through with the English test to mm. apply. All right, thank you for that information. You hear my boss? So you're saying right. as of the eighth of September, they'll be yes, able. That's the last. That's the last information. Or last update. I get because I always check on it to inform others. All right, blessings, my boss. Mm -hmm. oh. Hello. Hey, Andre. Good night. How you doing? I'm good. Listen, I'm calling from Canada. I wanted to let you guys know something. There is a link. I'm going to send it to you in your WhatsApp. There's a link that all farm workers who are here for being abused can go on the immigration portal. They can apply for um, abuse. Now, if their work permit is a closed work permit, um, once they complete the application and submit the, the documents like pictures, the dates when the abuse took, um, took place, um, the government will then look at it and they will open the work permit. So as long as they do the investigation, they'll open the work permit and that way they can remain here in Canada. They don't have to go home. Really? That a lot. Go ahead. Really? Yes. So I'll send you the link. It's on the immigration portal. It's not hidden. The so farm workers, when they hear that, if you not get abuse over there, there is a portal that you can go on and make them know that you are facing the abuse. Put it in if yeah. you want to have a closed um, work, permit. work permit. The government of Canada can get it open, and you don't necessarily have to go back home. No, sir. So you don't, and you don't have to work on that farm. You don't. You, so you can go on a different leave. farm. Right. Like, like you don't have to work on a farm at all. You can just leave. And leave and get your residence. Farm. Yes. So this has been around for a really long time. It's just a lot of people don't know. Oh. What happens is many when you're when you're an immigrant, first of all, you're new. Then you're also on a work permit. Mm -hmm. You're going to be scared of reporting any of these things. And as you can see, a lot of the people who called in, they are being intimidated. They are being told that if you report this, we're going to send you back home. Nobody wants to go back home. It doesn't matter how people are saying, well, you know, the work is hard. Why are you still staying? Everyone comes here for an opportunity. That's why they're here. So clearly, I am not going to report anything because, first of all, when you're in Jamaica, you report stuff, nothing happens. What makes you think that when you come to Canada, you're going to do it? And then you also don't know what to do. You don't know where to go. So I'm going to send you the link. You can maybe post it on your page after. I don't really know. But there is a link. It is on the Government of Canada's website. It clearly lists. It's not difficult to fill out. You just have to go there, open a complaint, and a lot of people are scared 
because they're thinking if I open the complaint, they're going to send me home. No, they're not sending you home, actually. They investigate the farm. Okay? So I just wanted to contribute that. Mm, thank you. You're welcome, sir. Have a good night, and thanks for the great job you're doing. Bye. Yes. Well, this program was is very, very informative tonight. Hello. This bus are in McDonald's. Don't tell him. Hello? Andre. Uh huh. Did you know that when the farmer can come up in Canada, right? Mm hmm. If they have to travel to a different province, right? The next morning, they are being left at the airport to stand grounds for the night to do a proper resting place. Did you know that? No, I never know that. Yeah. There's a lot of them that when they come up, in, when they reach, they reach Toronto and they have to fly to like um, British Columbia and stuff like that. So if the flight is tomorrow, like they come up today and the flight is tomorrow, they left them at the airport and they have to stand their ground and then tomorrow they have to sit up. And it's the same thing when they're coming back home. Mm. And by right, they have to provide accommodation for them to sleep. Come to some other time, you have to go to pick up my virgin from the airport. Make him mm. sleep on my yard. Wow. So you understand? These are the things where the man has got through. The last time, 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 the last the last time, 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 the last the last time, the last time, Mm -hmm. And you have a certain time on the place to act and then tell us, say, yo, then give a warning, say, yo, don't go out there in the sun or whatever. And you demand it still while you go out there. We're in a fall, it's a kitchen, and you're on the floor, you move. You have to get mad and say, yo, you know what? I just left Jamaica for me to come constantly, I do. I mean, just pop the things in my left. Less than three weeks. Mm -hmm. And in one year, in a one year time, it's straight in Canada. So wow. I'm going to go through hell and pop. I understand. So now I take more time. You go to self. Mm. Yeah, my boss. Yeah, yeah hello. Hi. Yes, good night. Hi, good night, Andre. Mm -hmm. uh, Hello? Yes, I'm hearing you. So, the program has once again shed light mm -hmm. into... Somebody said that... Mm. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello. Hi, good night, Andre. I'm um, sorry about that. Lady, take off the mask or whatever you have over your mouth. It, 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 it's distorting the message. Are you hearing me now? No, obviously you're doing something to, to cover your mouth and it's affecting how I'm hearing you. So we have done our part here tonight. Hello? Hello?
So we have probed and we have scoped the issues affecting. Mm, 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 mm. We have probed the issues that are affecting mm. us in the people. Oh, yeah. ha Hello. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Good night. You're the last call. Mm -hmm. Hello. Sorry, I had to say that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but Andre, um, I'm here in Canada, and tonight just um, I'm I'm saddened from what I'm hearing. I know a lot of people that have come to Canada on farm work. I have a friend right now who's um, in London or close to London, close to where I live. Um, who has said about working on Sundays as well, but um, I've never heard of all these um, tragic cases and what's going on. I've never heard. I ne this is opening up my eyes so much. But what I have to say is the Canadian government doesn't stand for anything like this. Um, I'm a Jamaican. I was born in Jamaica, but I live in Canada now, and I'm not picking up for Canada. Mm. Wrong is wrong. But if they're aware of the situation, trust me places that get locked down okay so jamaicans are my people we have to speak up we, we have to stop doing the the, the not talk and making people put fear in us british mm. columbia is one of the most racist places in canada mm. are, they, are, they, are they freezing cold racist place edmonton alberta those places mm. race anywhere is predominantly caucasian sorry my white people my love on no, about someone a terrible bad slave master yeah wow. okay so i'm gonna speak up and i want my jamaicans to stand up for their rights and and please educate yourself with the world we know smart and book smart like andrea mm. carefully up the big words then but guess what we know we're right and we know wrong is wrong so anonymity or whatever they want to call it, you could go and, and, and stand up for yourself. All mm. right. Don't take no treatment from on and I eat noodle. Don't make nobody make on clean up shitty water. What? Canadian, which Canadian is here going to clean up the dirty shitty water? I'm missing the man not even gloves. Come Whoa. on, man, guys. You have to speak up and stand up for yourself. All right. So Andre, I love you so much. You're doing a Andre, I love you. Like cook food. Mm. Oh, All right, my dear. Mm. My hello, good night. Good night, Mr. Stevens. Yes, my darling. Yeah, you, you have to hurry up because me I wrap up the program now. So you, yes. you have to talk quick, okay, my I darling. Mm -hmm. Yes. The lady who called about her 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 baby father in Canada that had the broken ribs. Mm -hmm. Remember remember she said that his documents were taken from him. So for him to be able to get himself sought out by making any reports, he doesn't have any documents to use. Oh, so okay. that's another issue for him. Understood. That's all I call about. That's all I call about. Thank all you. All right, be blessed. Mm. Yes. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, you are one of the world. We well, are one of the world's supposedly better leaders. A uh, leader of equality, truth, justice, and equity. Prime Minister Just, Justin Trudeau, I'm asking you to do an independent audit in how immigrants, mm -hmm. low income immigrants, are dealt with in Canada. Prime Minister Trudeau, see how best you can. No, sir. Hello. Hello, good night. Yes, good night. Yes, I am a farm worker and a farm work program. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, the liaison officers are here. They say, look, first of all, if something happens on the, on the program and you call one of them, and say, this happened. What they do, they come on the farm and they walk past you. And as you call them, and they go to the boss, they hear what the boss say, then they come back to you, and then they say, here what? Here I go. It's either you do with it, or you go back home, and then we find somebody else. That they might tell you. And then if you refuse, they're not coming up back next year. They're finding somebody else to put in the space. And there's no investigation going on. 
And if you call ministry, they might go tell us that they don't know what happened. It's a liaison officer. Mm. So then they 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 no response, they no business with it. Understood. They to get in the contract, and when they come, like for instance, they call him now, say something is wrong with the house or whatever. They come, they call you outside. They don't come in the house to see if the housing condition is good. Yes or no? You so they don't come and monitor the housing conditions. They don't come inside. They stay outside. They call you. They come and they blow the outside, and then they come outside and talk outside. Right now, where I am at, we have twelve persons in one room. Mm. In bunk beds. Twelve person, person in one room. Yes, one is a is a one room bunk beds. So it's six it's six beds then with two with two layers each. Right. Wow. The house we only have one washing machine and one dryer. One machine, machine and one dryer. So basically, everybody have to use their hand wash. We wash in turns, like you wash tonight, tomorrow, whatever. We only have three, three um, stores. Three stores. Three fridge. Mm -mm. We're, we're restoring food, some small cupboards. Right now, my, my food, we have some foods right now in the bags there on the ground. Mm -mm. Then the business with me. Yes, Mr. Samura come up here the other day and where him do, the laser officer, the KRM got a nice house system, the nice bunks, the ni it's not everywhere, but you know, don't get me wrong. Mm. Some places are very so where are you in Canada? I'm in Leamington. Where? Leamington. Leamington. Yeah. Mm. And they carry them to the nice farms and before they even go to the farm, they, they call the boss, put up everything. So the boss has to tell the world that they are in the nice. When they go, everything all right. By the time they're gone, same thing. Before Whoa. I was working here, I was on a farm. I was on an upper farm. And when I'm here, when the cold time, you can't wear no gloves. And you only can pick up with the cold time. The and swell. When I go to eat lunch, I cannot even take up the farm to eat lunch. Whoa. You know what the boss said to me? You want to go home? You want to go home? I mean, no, honest truth. Yes, I want to go home. But I want to work. I want to can't just come up here and leave. Go back down and have So them. you're saying that in the cold, them don't even want you to put on gloves to pick the apple? Yes. Yes, when they pick the apple, the boss said it's going to damage his apple. He not care about you. He just want to know him work done. And then your hands are swollen. Swollen. You cannot eat. Even if they want to urinate, you can't even take out your, your, your whatever you Yeah, because eat. your hand is like your hand become stiff. Yes, so what, what we do? When we are home, we have to pull the zipper with their yard. Because they can't pull long your zipper when they are work. Yeah, because so, you get a you, you get a, a, a frost blist. Right. Snow and fall, you pick apple seed in a store. The only time you come out of apple seed is lightning or thunder. And everybody will pick apple can tell you the truth. That's how it is. Boy, them really I'm gonna live in a some conditions, man. Yes, yeah, so but then the minister does say nothing, nothing is that it must come to the workers them. And talk to the workers, they're not the leaders of them. Because they're going to put you up everything because the pass them and give them a pass. Them. So if Carl Samuda should come and ask you guys the truth, and would you guys be honest enough to tell the minister what is really okay. happening to you guys? Yes. As long as we you know, say, next year, I'm not going to say, all right, then we're not going to take up them, put them people in because they're a troublemaker. Oh, so you're saying once you're not blackmailed and ostracized and taken off the right. program. Right. Whoa. I really want better food, you know. I really want better food because everybody deserves to eat a food. You understand? Because a lot of times we have different programs. We have six week program, eight months program, we have two year program. So even the two year program, you're gone from your family two years and you're going to live in a different condition then. 
for such a long period of time. So how long have you been on the program? I've been here about five years now. So which program you on now? The six weeks or two year program? I'm on a, I'm on a two year program now. Wow. All right, thanks for giving us these insightful information. You hear? Yeah, man, thank you very much. The people call Samuda. The people willing to talk, you know, but they don't want to be blackmailed and blacklisted. The people don't want to be blacklisted, Minister Samuda. They were willing to talk, but they don't want to give up their opportunities. They're grateful that them get a chance to go find. Better, you know, but what they're saying, Minister Samuda, the pressures that they're working under, the inhumane conditions that they're working under, the horrible, horrific situations, the way the background master mentality is that if you take it or leave it, go back to your yard, Minister Samuda. It's wrong, Carl Samuda. And I'm not coming with a combative and argumentative approach with you, Minister Carl Samuda. What I'm asking for is for an opportunity for you to do a forensic audit into how Jamaicans are living under or in the Canadian Farm Work Program. The Canadian Farm Work Program has given many people opportunities to build them house, to send their children to university, to better off their lives. But it has equally doomed a lot, equally made a lot sick, equally have broken a lot, equally has psychology created an impact minister samuda we need to change that we need to change the the the, 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 the politics of dependence the politics minister samuda of dependence we need to change the culture mm. not taking any more calls because i'm ending we need to change the culture jamaica minister samuda and the powers that be Immigrants who come to countries, taking no ladies calling back. Hello. Hi, Andre. Good night. Yes, my darling. You, you're brave up now to call. I love that. I'm trying to start my voice, but trust me, you're pushing me out. But anyways. Um... No, man. Be, let me say something to you. See, when you come on Andre program, you're covered. Be bold enough to talk. Nobody's going to blacklist, um, blacklist you. Andre is going right. to protect you. Talk your truth, my darling. Talk your truth. Because probably your truth will be the ice, the, 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 the tip of the iceberg that cracks the ice. So talk your truth. Oh. All right. I am not a farm worker, but I do know certain things. All right. This has been happening from be way before Mr. Samuda's time. The workers, they are afraid to talk. So what they do is that they come and they, they go and they talk to staff or anybody they see on the ground. They are afraid to even make complaints because in total in fact, some of them they will not be able to travel again because they'll be seen as mischievous workers. Wow. You understand? Mm. And where the condition is concerned, yes, a lot of them do live in deplorable conditions over there, but also if any farmer should call it, they can be honest to say, Well, listen, some of them they do not keep the place um tidy themselves. They can attest to that if they do wish to call it. No, it's not every. So, some of the people are nasty for true. I don't like that. That's true. Kind of yeah, Jamaican that's man nasty. So true. That's very true. Even when they go to the ministry, they have a problem. Even, and you hear people calling and talk about how much it's on record. When they go for a flight and hold some of them. But it's not everybody still. Just to be happy. It's not everybody. And Just a few. Mm -hmm. No, not all of them. As I was saying, what the condition that all of them live in. Um, like in bump bridge and stuff, because I do know personally some farmers that have the whole thing. Mm. No, where the seven days a week is concerned, is not everybody works seven days, not every farm force people to work seven days a week. Most of them they do get Sundays off, and if they want to work in fine. Mm. So There's not everybody getting the seven days off, seven days um, to work. You understand? Mm -hmm. so it's, a lot of stuff and it's been happening long before Mr. Samuda. The workers are afraid and even if they do get injured, the lady that call about the ribbon everything. He is a good law partner for that gentleman. Her name is recorded on the document of the ministry. So she can go to the ministry and talk to them about who. 
So you're saying the lady with the, their husband with the broken ribs, what happened? Yes, if it is that she is a common law partner, that is recorded on his document. So what what a common law partner is recorded on your document, and that lady can go up there. Oh, so she can go up there. She yes, can she go can. up there and talk to the Ministry of Labor. Yes, she can. All right. And, and the liaison officers is true. They don't really go up there and look for them. Because first and foremost, um, if it is that they have a problem, they are going straight to the boss. It's just not good. Oh, wow. And talk to them. And even when Mr. Stang would have go up there the other day, that was at the point of and you take me for some other talk one and one with the work and they definitely carry them to the place that look good. Oh, so it was a misrepresentation. I know I'm not a liaison officer. Oh, so you're not, so you, you're not a liaison officer, you work with the Ministry of Labor? Um, yes, I do. All right, you work with the Ministry of Labor, so you're giving some insight. That's reasonable, my dear. All right, thank you so much. You're here. So the lady does work with the Ministry of Labor. And she's saying that there's some truth. I'm taking no more calls. I really exhausted people. I almost three hours, me ago. I'm tired now. I'm tired now. But join me tomorrow night. Thanks for everyone who came here tonight. Remember to like up the live, share the live with people. Let them see here and you know for sure. Be of coverage. All right. Walk good and remember when they go low, my students, we go high. When they go low, we go high. Thanks for joining. I hope that tonight's program was once again uplifting, rewarding, enlightening, and fulfilling. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. See you tomorrow night. When Israel was in bondage came, I've seen before them lay. The Lord reach out his mighty hands and roll the seas away. Forward still, forward still, forward still. I know a lot of people going to talk about this tomorrow in a their workplace. Down at town. Oh, big up all of the fishermen, they will watch me. Cars we real town. Out of, uh, what the place name again? Greenwich Farm. Big up every fisherman. Big up every fisherman. Big up everybody will watch me.